on to a percentages question, a seemingly long question. Let's do it in 60 seconds. In an election, there were four candidates and 80% of the registered voters cast their votes. Election, four candidates, 80% are casting. Okay, let's take that down, 80%. 30% of the casted votes of this, 30% is 24%. Uh, went to one of the candidates while the other three candidates received the remaining. The remaining is 56% of the total registered voters and that is getting split in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay, if the winner of the election received 2512 votes more than the candidate who got the second highest, I'm concerned about the winner and the second highest, 3 over here, 3 passes the highest in this, that's half, next is going to be 18 something percent, doesn't matter. So the difference between the first and the second, that is 4% over here is 2512, then 1% is one fourth of the 628, then 100%, 6 to 800, option 2 is the answer for this question, right? So once again, just to slowly look at this, uh, what's given over here is um, of the total number of registered voters, 80% are casting their votes, write that down, 30% of the casted votes, 30% of this 80% comes to 24%, that's gotten by one of the candidates, fine. The other three, right, receive the remaining casted votes. The remaining is 56%, 80 minus 24 is 56. And that's in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Uh, don't need to exactly find that, see as to what is required. If the winner of the election received 2512 votes more than the second highest, looks like 24% is going to be one of them because the remaining is 56. But the remaining 56, I'm concerned about the winner and second highest. So go for the highest amongst in this particular ratio which is three parts out of a total of six, that's half of this 56, that is 28%. This is three parts, two parts over here and one part. Two parts is one third of total, one third of this is 18, two by three person, that's not even important. Uh, one part is one sixth of this, doesn't even import, uh, it's not, doesn't even matter over here, because 24 and 28 is what you're concerned uh, with, right? The number one and number two. The difference over here is 4% of the registered voters, because the registered voter is 100%, we're starting from there. If that is 2512, how much is 100% going to be? Instead of doing a multiplication with 25, divide by 4. 4% uh, 4 is 2512, 1% is 628. Then the full 100% is times 100. 628 into 100 comes to 62800, which you don't even need to find. You can just mark it and keep going.